Hey guys, it's Emily and I'm back with a DIY video. It's three things for under $25. It is some home decor ideas that I wanted to do myself for my apartment, but I also wanted to show you guys. So I just went ahead and filmed it. All this was under $25, like I said. So please like this video if you like the items that I'm showing you. And please subscribe to my channel. I would really love that. So stay tuned if you want to figure out how I did all of this. So the first thing I'm going to be making is just a fake succulent in a glass jar with some fake dirt. And then I'm going to add a little bit of fake moss to it just to make it look more realistic. I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely horrible about keeping plants alive. So um, to make fake dirt, all it takes is um, some glue. I use the Elmer's clear glue. I figured that would be better for drying so I didn't have like white spots in it. And then I just found the cheapest thing of a coffee that I could. So I'm going to take a clear plastic cup, plastic cup, and I'm going to just pour and that's about half of my Elmer's glue bottle. And then I'm going to open the coffee. You want to put about three spoonfuls in there and then you just kind of want to stir it around and then probably add more. Now I'm just going to kind of dump a little bit more in there and stir that up. The coffee smell will go away after about a week. This is so you want it about to where like it's like it's gloppy like that I'm gonna take my first jar and I'm just gonna spoon it in Ooh. Have another spoon. Just in place. there we go okay this will be done in three two I'm done all right so my camera died but we're back and now as you can see it is starting to form, take shape a little bit, and now I'm just going to add in a little bit of this moss. So let's take a sheet of this out. Oh, this smells nasty. So I'm just going to break this apart. By the way, this is a very messy project. So if you're not looking to get messy, maybe don't use moss. I'm just going to add this in around the edges. So now I kind of just have this mossy outside. Alright, so now I'm just going to put the succulent into the jar like so. And take my moss and just kind of cover up any imperfections. And there you have it. A beautiful succulent in mud. <laughs> Okay, so for the next project, I'm just going to film this doing an overview. Um, you will need a piece of wood. Um, I got this actually at my local craft store. Yes, I already have a few nails in there. I just wanted to make sure that my design was going to work. Uh, you want to make sure that you get something pretty thick so that whenever you nail your nails in, you do not go through the wood and have little things poking out. You don't want to damage your walls when you put it on there. I have these little gold nails. You can see that. This does not want to focus. Ah, oh, there we go. And then I also have scissors to cut my yarn. I have this really um, like colorful ombre looking yarn. And then a hammer to nail in your nails. We're gonna see how well this turns out. So now that we are done, you can kind of see the outline of the fin, tail, and here we go. Now it's time to string it. So what you want to do is you want to double 
knot it around good tight knot and leave that on the inside so now you're just going to keep going and just wrap perfect obviously but definitely something super cute and easy to do and it'll look really great on the wall okay so last thing um, it's not gonna be a dream catcher exactly it's just gonna be a wall hanging and you're only gonna need two things three I guess if you want to count these two as separate things um, but first one is a stick obviously I did not buy this in a store I got it from outside and then these I just got from my local craft store um, you want to find something that is obviously a lot thicker that way it looks more full um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the white one but it also is that same thick um, material so yeah I'm not gonna make these exact lengths. I'm just gonna kind of measure it out of my stick, hold the stick, fold over, straighten out, and then cut the end. And they don't have to be exactly perfect cuts. I am gonna fray my ends at the end. So then you just take the stick, make a loop, so that your hands can fit underneath it. And then you're gonna pull them through the loop, tighten it, bunch that up, and voila. So, I'm gonna make this go a lot faster so that you do not have to watch the whole entire process now that you know. A little extra pizzazz so use my phone to hold that and lastly after you have everything done you're just going to tie it off at both ends right here so I'm just gonna take the same fabric that I was using I'm gonna tie it at one end And then there you have it, a full hanging. That's all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be trying to post every week, so please stay tuned. And also, comment down below if you do any of these items. I would love to know if you try them and if they work out for you. Thanks, bye. Cover up, cover up.